guys in this makeup look I'm doing a makeup tutorial using the Mac Alexa Demi collection and it's a collection of eyeshadows brown products eyeliner and mascara I did not use the brown product in this video however I'll be filming another tutorial soon using one of those I totally forgot to use it this time I would have but I already had my brows done I didn't want to redo them but yeah this is the look features some bold colors mostly mattes which are my favorite if you guys would like to check the look just keep watching so I'll be using eyeshadows from the Mac Alexa Demi collaboration and I did get these items on PR just full disclosure but it has an amazing color in there that I cannot wait to share with you color that I haven't seen in quite a long time from Mac as far as quality pigmentation anyways let's get started we'll get to that I'm taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion first as my base kind of taking a break from Too Faced shower insurance I need to go back to it so I can use it up grabbing a makeup towel I get these from Amazon I'll have a link below so I'm gonna try to use all six shadows so first I'm gonna start off with a buffer shade I guess to blend everything out this one is called sandstone looks like that and I'm taking that directly into the crease with this Mac 222 might need to get a new one soon because it's starting to fall apart I've had it for years though it's been a long time since I've bought any MAC brushes and they've held up all of this time so pretty good so making sure everything's buffed out as far as the primer and I'm sweeping this to my crease it's gonna be a light wash of color you can even use a fluffier brush I just don't have a clean one at the moment and I'm making sure to concentrate that directly into the crease as much as possible you'll see why when I do my cut crease I'm gonna attempt to do one I'm gonna go ahead and go above that I'm taking the exact same brush so I'm taking the lightest color it's a nice matte color this is a light matte gray actually it's called cozy gray although it's a gray I feel like it'll work perfectly for a brow highlight I'm applying that right on top it does look grayish but I'm gonna try not to put too much color and I might add something else on top of it to make it lighter doesn't look bad though taking some more of that sandstone color I'm just going to make sure those are blended that's good for now I'm now taking a totally different base this is the P Louise base I believe I'm gonna use this P Louise base it's just their standard blank canvas one I think it's zero which is like the lightest shade I'm taking a bit of that with a stiff brush this is one from Votre Vue it's an eyebrow brush actually but it's very stiff and just how I need it gonna use that and I'm gonna cut my crease try to because cut creases are hit and miss for me sometimes I do well about them sometimes I don't I'm gonna do one eye at a time. Going back in to the crease and I'm cleaning this up. Doesn't matter if it's perfect, you can always fix it later. I'm going on top first with beautiful green, seriously prettiest color for Mac I've ever seen. You guys might not think so, you might think it's dull, but it's gorgeous. This is called No Money, No Problems. It's a matte green. Just look at it. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is seriously the prettiest color for Mac I've ever seen. I have it swatched on my arm now. Probably like, oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, Y'all probably like, okay, I'm so special, but yes, it is one of my favorite colors anyway, green, but oh my gosh, I'm telling y'all. I'm taking a flat, stiff brush. I'm applying this on the outer portion of my eye. I might apply it farther. We'll see. I'm making sure this is blended out with the same brush I used to cut the crease before I do that. Okay, now I'm packing this on top. This is, oh gosh, so pretty. Look at that. Going back in with that crease color I used, the darker one, if I can find it, sandstone. I'm just gonna make sure there's no white because sometimes I can't see super close and that's usually a white line. I don't want that. So you wanna make sure the outer corner is blended out. Sorry for my phone guys. I will cut it off as soon as I finish this. So now I'm taking mortar green. 
going in the middle with this color called Mint Condition. It's also a mint. I love that this collection has mostly mints. Y'all know mints are my jam. Just look how buttery these colors are. Not patchy at all. I'm gonna get the color down and then I'll worry about blending. And also sharpening up that line. Okay, I'm not gonna go over too far because I do want the green to stand out. And in my next look, I'm probably going to use the green across my entire lid. So just stay tuned for that because it's probably gonna happen. Just letting you know, it's my favorite in the collection and my favorite probably from MAC. Taking more of the more money, more problems. Just make sure you're using brushes with a pointed tip. Okay, I'm taking the inner corner color now. This color is called Cozy Gray. It's the lighter color I use for my brow. I'm applying this in the inner corner. A tiny brush, because I really want a nice application of color. Tiny, focus. Yeah. <laughs> it's just from a random company. And I'm pulling that all the way in. I think I'm gonna extend that green even farther up. So I'm gonna cut my crease again and blend the color upwards rather than down. The base I meant from P. Louise. So I'm being extremely careful. Taking some more of that green now, using a totally different brush. This is something, I don't know. It's a tapered brush. Let's point it. Looks like that. I'm taking that more money, more problems, because I, I want more, so I'm taking more. Okay, so I'm going around. I hope I don't screw this up by doing this. And it's gonna be a light wash of color. It's not gonna be as intense. So it's gonna kind of make it look like a totally different color. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm going back in the crease shade and buffing that out, the outer edge. And then I'm just touching up my colors on the lid. Making sure my lines are still sharp. I'm gonna take some more of that green, so I want it a little darker. The smolder is also in the collection. I could easily use it and blend it out. I think I'm gonna take black because I want it darker. And actually, I have a smolder that's already open, I believe. So I don't really wanna open up a new one. And I don't have it in here at the moment. So I'm gonna take instead Feline Cold Power. I think this one's even more smudgier, so hopefully it doesn't smudge too much. I'm just gonna take this slightly into my crease. And I'm being very precise with the line. I'm not even making a line. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm being careful. Now that I've gotten a sharper, a sharper line, going back over it with the green to blend it out. I just wanted it a little darker in there. Make sure to smudge that out so it doesn't crease or anything before it does. <laughs> I to sharpen this. I feel like I can make it even darker. Sorry, I'm OCD. Now you can actually see it, so I feel better about it now. Uh-oh, no, it's not blending out at all. I'm going in with more color. That's helping me out a lot. Now I'm gonna do the other side the same way. Try to. So both sides are different. You could probably tell. You pro I don't know if you can or not. I didn't use smolder on this side, or feline on this side. This side I did. I'm trying to get them to look the same, but I'm struggling. <laughs> I wish I had another color. I really don't like how these colors look together in a cut crease. I don't know. Maybe it's just missing eyeliner or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let me keep moving. For the bottom, I'm gonna use the other two colors I have not used. Also forgot to mention, I went over my brow highlight because I wanted something a little lighter. This is Urban Decay Foxy. You could use Blanc Type or um, Ivory, I think there's an Ivory color. Megan Lunch, whatever, you know, nude highlighter you want from MAC if you have one. I have a bunch, I just don't have the palette in here at the moment. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner at the bottom. This is Marc Jacobs Overnight. It's a blue, it'll be perfect underneath the blue I'm gonna use. I'm also applying this on my waterline. 
stop and shot it in a corner. Like so, I'm gonna go on top of it with this color called Trinial Wave. It's a satin eyeshadow from the collection gorgeous blue and I'm just gonna use the same tapered brush I used in my crease except I'm dusting it off a lot because I don't want any other color to be on there except this blue as you can see extremely extremely bright just the way I like it I'm gonna make it even brighter by tapping it into place rather than sweeping it after I get it smudged out I kind of want to apply it across the entire lower lash line oh my gosh but then I want to use the silver It's in the collection because it's absolutely pretty. I have to use the silver. This is called Disco Thick. Disco Tech? Maybe Disco Tech. This color here. Beautiful metallic silver. This is the name, in case you guys know how to pronounce it. Dusting that same brush off again because y'all know I don't like washing brushes. And I'm applying this in the tear duct. Hopefully I don't regret this because I could have used the blue at the bottom. And just blend it into the gray. Nope, I don't regret it at all. I like this too. I'm layering it because I really want it to be intense. You can even wet your brush. I could have done that. It would have made it a lot easier. But I'm getting a similar effect. It's super metallic. This is actually the Dazzle Shadow Extreme Texture. It's my first time using this texture from MAC. I'm sure it's been around for forever. I just didn't pay attention, but... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're done with eyeshadow. You could use Smolder from the collection if you want. However, I'm using a liquid liner or a pen liner. This is NYX Epic Ink Liner in black. This is gonna run out soon, but I do have the liquid liner as well. I'm just gonna shake this up, make sure it's evenly distributed. I'm gonna apply this. I'm gonna take some concealer to the bottom, my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 40. Now, I'm gonna take that Feline, you can use some water, that's in the collection. I'm just using Feline, cause it's convenient. And I'm tight lining, cause I see some gaps, which I don't like. I'm gonna take some mascara. There is a mascara. I think it's in the collection, or they just sent it to me. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. How? And this is in, um, I'm sure it's black. However, I'm also picky about mascara. I cannot wait to try it. However, I have three mascaras open, and I don't like waste, you know. So I'm gonna use what I have open. This is Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. And this is just, I guess, black. <laughs> Maybe black is black. I think this is like a Maybelline thing, but it's black. I'm applying this to my top and bottom lashes. Now I'm gonna throw on some lashes. These are some cruelty-free mink lashes from Amazon. These are not labeled, unfortunately. I'll try to link them down below. They came in a massive set, so I have no idea which they are. I'm sorry. I will try my best to distinguish which ones they are though. They're the ones I wore my Mardi Gras look, which I'll have linked on screen here. But this is the container. So it's being gorgeous. But like I said, I'm going to trim these. And also wiggle them back and forth to stretch them out. Taking some concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Dark Zero Chocolate. I always say that. I have no idea if that's really how you pronounce it. I think it's just chocolate and that's just the spelling of it in a different language. I found that this stuff works really well around my mouth while I have darker spots and hyperpigmentation before putting on foundation. So I've been doing it and I've been loving how it looks. So I'm dotting this around my mouth because that's where I have those darker spots. Just dabbing at it with the same brush I use for concealer. And as you can see, you pro I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but those spots are gone. So it's a really good concealer for coverage. And it actually looks good under my foundation as far as color. I'm gonna take some foundation, two pumps of the Bare Minerals Made to Fit Fresh Faced Liquid Foundation. I've been liking two pumps, so that's what I've been doing. Just using this cheap old foundation brush. Careful not to touch my jewelry. 
and also being careful not to smudge around my mouth too much because I don't want to move that concealer I put underneath. I just want it to blend out. So when I get to that, I'm just going to dab around there. So I have some more new products from MAC. This is from the Glow Play Collection. It comes in packaging like this. It's pretty cool, actually. It's like clear packaging. Not fully transparent, but opaque. This is their Glow Play Blush, and that's peachy. It's just really pretty. It's not gonna focus if I put it super close. Okay, maybe it's focusing now, I hope. Anyway, I'm gonna grab this on a MAC 168 tried it on in store when I was playing with this collection and it just looked great on the skin. Look at it. It's like a light wash of color, but it's definitely buildable. Of course I'm building it. It has a creamy texture and you can even use your fingers to apply it. But I'm not a finger person when it comes to face products. I just haven't gotten into it, though you could. I'm like look at that. It's like a healthy glow. I'm also gonna take some up here. I've been doing that lately and I've been loving how it looks. It's like a natural flush of color. Like a natural rosiness. One thing I do recommend is that you keep the plastic in there because it is a cream blush. You don't want it to dry out. It's weird because it's like a cream, but it's like a powder. It's like a creamy powder, except it's a lot more than a powder. I don't know. I'm gonna do a review on these. It might actually be up already. If so, it'll be linked on screen too. For highlighter, I'm actually gonna use an eyeshadow. This is not from MAC. This is all I have in here at the moment. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow from ColourPump. This is Candy Button, one of their crust powder palettes. I'm taking this lightest color here. It's an eyeshadow actually this color not practical but <laughs> nothing I do about my looks are practical but I do it anyway and it's a nice cheek highlight I just kind of have to do a highlight you know I can't not do it okay lips this is also from one of the new MAC collections this is MAC Baroque the internet it's a beautiful matte lipstick it also comes in that transparent or uh, opaque clearish packaging looks like this this is the color here just roll up so you can see it better. I'm going to have to swatch this before and do a review before I used it, but it didn't work out that way. I want to use it today, so. Got the annoying white line in my lip. Oops, I'm messing up the packaging. You can leave the lips like that if you want, but I'm going to take a lip glass from one of the new collections. This is called, I'm going to have to Google the name because it has these numbers, the B89 number that they have on MAC packaging. I'm going to just Google the name because it's covering it. I can't see what it is. Deco A Go Go. So it's a de it's called Deco A Go Go. And it's like a nude lip glass that has tiny pearlescent shimmers in it. Gold reflex. It's very pretty, actually. And I think it'll look beautiful with this lip color. So I'm going to apply this in the center only. I actually should use a lip brush. What, what am I thinking? So before I put this back in the container, cleaning it off, I'm going to go in with a lip brush instead. So I'm putting some on the back of my hand. This is not really a lip brush. This is an e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush. It's pointed and tapered, but it's working, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this mega look from the Alexa Demi collection. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you guys want to see any other looks, I'll probably do one or two more looks from the collection. The next one will probably be focused more on the green because that is my favorite color, even though it didn't really show how I thought it would with the cut crease because I didn't use it. I don't know. Sometimes I think it looks through my brain and then they don't execute the same way. So we'll try something different next time with the green just so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Also, if you'd like to check a review, for this collection i have it posted you can just check it out by clicking the button right up there it'll take you directly to the review video but yeah rate the video subscribe to my channel if you currently are not and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss anything i post talk to all of you soon thank you for watching